In this video, we will be going through the steps involved with creating new work areas or ex adding existing work areas uh, to Image Studio. So the first time that you open up Image Studio, if you have not used it before, it will ask you to create a new work area. And to do that, you just simply click on this Create New button, and it will ask you to give your work area a name. Now, for the path here, we would normally recommend that you not use this default path right here. So what you will need to do the first time is to click on this Browse button, and you can save this work area to either the My Documents folder, or sometimes people will create a folder on their desktop for work areas. And when you click Save right here, then that path is saved, and you can give it whatever name that you want right there. Now, um, if you already have an existing work area that is not shown on list here, if you click on this Add Existing and you browse to where that work area is, you can click on that, click Open, and then it will open it up for you. Now, if you are, have been have upgraded from a previous version of Image Studio, um, Previous versions sometimes would not run a check to make sure that there was not a higher level work area uh, that is already there. And because sometimes what will happen is that Image Studio will recognize that and it will see that as a nested work area. So if you have gone with that default location uh, and you try to create a new work area, what you will need to do is to find that work area. And right here we see that it, this is the default location uh, for the first time you open it. And right here we have this My Work Area. And uh, also sometimes occasionally you will just see here in this uh, Users um, folder um, some other folders that say Images, Logs, and Settings. And so what you will need to do to get around having that nested work area is to uh, copy or to cut these uh, the the images logs and settings folder remove that from there and then go to uh, where your uh, work areas reside and either uh, create a work area uh, that has the same name as what you had uh, previously worked with and And then what you will do is to paste those files into there. And then once you have done that, go back to uh, this set active work area, click Add Existing, and then navigate to that uh, work area where you, where you had put that right there. So I'm going to go with one that I had previously created and then click OK. Now, Image Studio 5 is a little bit different than previous versions in that all of the acquisition keys are installed by default. And so what you will need to do uh, the first time around with a new work area is just click whatever instrument that you're trying to connect to. And if you only have one type of instrument that you are uh, connecting to, just click this little uh, checkbox right here, and then it will remember this for the next time that you open this work area and it will not give you this list again. And we click OK. And then once the work area opens up, uh, if, we, if you need to modify the type of instruments that you were trying to connect to, if you come down here to Key Management and click Configure, you can uh, set the, the automatic connection uh, for the type of instrument that you're looking for. Thank you.